Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Y'all kick off the shoes and you set a spell, all right? Now here's your host for the show, that old Kentucky boy himself, Mr. Bob Snap. Hi, guys. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. A uh, question for you. Have you ever wondered where the original truck from the Beverly Hillbillies is? Well, according to this article I found, let's take a look. Uh, if you're around in the 1960s, you're a fan of classic shows. You're probably familiar with the Beverly Hillbillies, of course. Uh, it's about the clamp. It's a uh, hillbilly family that moved to Beverly Hills after they became rich overnight. One of the show's trademarks is the Swamp Rat, the iconic beat-up uh, truck the family owns. What was the Beverly Hillbillies truck? Hillbillies truck uh, was a customized 1921 Oldsmobile 43A Roadster powered by a 43-horsepower four-cylinder engine designed by renowned Hollywood custom car expert George Barris. How uh, was the tr same truck used for the entire series? Nope. Five customized Oldsmobile trucks represented the Swamp Rat throughout the show's nine seasons. Barris was in charge of finding the trucks and ensuring they matched the Clampett family truck. Only the original truck remains today. George Barris found a 1921 Oldsmobile behind a feed shop in Fontana, California. Well, when he spotted the truck, uh, it re readily looked like uh, the ideal hillbilly truck. It was battered and time-worn and didn't have a back end. Back then, many people removed the back half of the car's body to turn it into a truck. It was now many pre-war vehicles ended their service lives. The Clampets were a family of four, if you would include their dim-witted relative Jethro, Jed, Granny, and Ellie Mae. Ferris added a back platform with a high bench to the truck for Granny and Ellie Mae to sit on. Other than that, they didn't have to do or change anything much else to create one of the television's most iconic cars. Paul Henning, the creator of the Beverly Hillbillies, donated the original Swamp Rat to Ralph Foster Museum in Branson, Missouri. The truck is usually on the first floor of the museum, just past the main entrance for a couple of bucks. Museum visitors can even sit in the iconic truck. Interestingly enough, some people around the country claim that they have the truck from the old series. For example, a 2014 article by USA Today featured Jim Johnson, who believed he owns the truck. According to him, a restaurant in New Jersey owned the original Swamp Rat after the show ended. Johnson shared that when he came upon the truck, time had taken a toll on it. He had to work on its wheels and chassis to uh, restore it. Uh, were there other iconic cars in the Beverly Hillbilly show? Jethro souped up Hot Rod in Season 7. Episode 21 is another notable vehicle in the show. He bought it because he wanted a car that would perform better than the Swamp Rat. Barris built a hot ride on a 1925 Oldsmobile Roadster frame. It has a 1969 442 Olds engine, four dune buggy style seats, uh, dual chrome roll bars, and other over-the-top upgrades. There you go. That's where the original truck is. Um... Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget about classic rock and country music facts and trivia. Head on over there. Please subscribe. Uh, have a great day. God bless you. And I will be praying for you.